Hi guys, today we are making the Italian meringue tarts. For this recipe you will need 1 egg, 1 third cup of sugar, 200 grams of butter, 1 tablespoon of mayonnaise, a half a teaspoon of baking soda shocked with lemon juice, 2 and a half cups of uh, flour, and we are also going to need some jam later. I am using the food processor to make the dough, but you can use a mixer. Um, and the butter doesn't have to be soft, it could be right out of fridge. So just put your butter in the food processor and pulse it so it um, breaks uh, down a little bit. Put your sugar in and then pulse it again. And then we're going to add one egg, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, and we're going to add a half a teaspoon of uh, baking powder shocked with lemon juice. And we're going to pulse it again to combine. And now you can um, scrape um, down the bowl. Make sure all the ingredients are off the side. And then just mix it again until it's nice and smooth. And we're going to add all our flour. It's um, two and a half cups of flour. And we're going to pulse it or mix it again until the dough is ready. And it's a pretty thick dough, so it's going to look like this. We're going to put our dough um, either in a sarong wrap or in a plastic bag. And um, we're going to place it in the fridge for about an hour because um, it is pretty soft now and it's going to be difficult to work with it so we need this dough to be um, a little bit um, uh, thicker or stiffer um, so we could um, <clears throat> fill up our tart uh, forms. After an hour uh, we are going to preheat our oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit and take our dough out and as you can see it's nice and firm now so we can make um, little balls um, out of it and fill those um, tart forms uh, with it um, I'm using um, the little basket tart forms um, those are non-stick you don't have to spray them with anything or use butter because the dough is pretty uh, buttery already and it's not gonna stick so I'm gonna show you a couple um, of how I do it um, just um, uh, fill them up and um, it's like a plate dough so you could really um, um, mold this dough to the tart forms um, but um, be very precise and try to fill up all the little ridges uh, in the form so it looks pretty you can make these tarts all different sizes so as you can see I'm making the small ones and uh, medium sized ones you can use a larger tart uh, forms after they've all been filled up we're gonna poke them with the fork so they don't rise up too much and we're gonna place them in the preheated oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit and after they've been browned uh, we're gonna take them out and they're ready um, it's easy to unmold them as you can see they just pop out of there and be very careful unmolding them because they are very flaky and I actually broke one so I had to give it to somebody to eat it <laughs> and um, we're gonna make our Italian meringue now for Italian meringue you're gonna need four egg whites one cup of sugar one third cup of water one teaspoon of lemon juice, two packets of vanilla sugar, or one teaspoon of vanilla extract. To make our syrup, we're gonna combine our one third of a cup of water and one cup of sugar. We're gonna mix it together to combine, and we're gonna wait for the syrup to start boiling. When the syrup is going to be uh, slightly clear and it's going to start to boil, we're going to add a um, couple drops of lemon juice and let it boil for 7 minutes. While our syrup is boiling, we're going to start making the meringue. 
in a stand up mixer put four egg whites and um, a pinch of salt and we're gonna start mixing it on a high speed until it becomes slightly foamy um, when it foams up a little bit you can reduce the speed of your mixer and put two packets of vanilla sugar in and after that we're gonna mix it on a really high speed until stiff picks when the stiff picks are reached we're gonna pour hot syrup um, inside the meringue and um, do not reduce the speed you're gonna mix it um, until the mixture is slightly uh, cooled down and what I like to do I like to stop it um, scrape down the bowl sometimes even um, just lift the meringue so no sugar is on the bottom of the mixture and continue mixing the meringue for about seven or eight minutes until very stiff picks and the mixture is slightly cooled um, down we're gonna place our meringue in two separate bowls uh, two-thirds um, I'm gonna color in yellow and uh, one third I'm gonna color in green for our leaves and I'm using the gel colors those are actually great you just need a couple drops and they mix in very well for the um, tulips uh, we're gonna also use some orange and this color we're not gonna mix in completely we're just gonna leave um, those swirls in I think it's gonna look uh, really pretty when it's piped out in a large piping bag, we're gonna place our yellow slash orange meringue in. And um, I am using um, an attachment that's called um, a Russian piping tip. And it's a tulip attachment. Um, uh, you can find those um, uh, on Amazon, I think. I'm gonna leave um, links uh, below where to find them they make very very pretty flowers a lot of bakers use them and for the green mixture I am um, using the leaf uh, attachment and it's ready we're gonna start piping on the bottom of each uh, tart uh, we're gonna put some sour jam and I think the one I'm using has uh, maybe several different uh, fruits in it um, but make sure the jam is sour because the meringue is pretty sweet so we need to balance um, some flavors here I'm gonna show you how um, to pipe the tulips just using that wide attachment uh, pipe your tulips and then using the green uh, meringue we're gonna pipe out the leaves and it's already starting to look really, really pretty. And for the little ones, I think we can only fit maybe three of the tulips. And um, we're gonna place the green meringue in between those um, uh, tulips or picks. And um, it's also gonna look very, very pretty. Just couple useful tips for making Italian meringue. You need to make sure your egg whites are room temperature and for the syrup you need to make sure that the syrup uh, when it boils it reaches a temperature um, of uh, 230 degrees Fahrenheit and you can do a water test so just drop one little drop of syrup in the water and if that drop sets then the syrup is ready and also when you pour the syrup in um, the meringue just make sure you pour it really slowly and also mix the meringue until the mixture cool down a little bit I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and I will see you soon bye